We got here DK Break Bread Kennels. I want y'all to show a little support. Uh, check out his channel. I like his channel. He got a pretty good video. Uh, just check him out, man. See what y'all like. Y'all like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe or you don't subscribe. But check the, the channel out. For real. <laughs> hey, right here, I got some pumpkin seed. Um, I like pumpkin seed myself. You know what I'm saying? So I eat them. Uh, Pepper's over there looking at me eating them. And he wanted to join in. So at first he was looking crazy. Then next thing you know, there you go, chewing. He even started eating the shell, but uh, without the seed in them. <laughs> it was just neat, so I just throw that in there. I'm going to tell you something that you <clears throat> you can never do. Uh, that's why a lot of dog mans keep uh majority of their puppies, or at least half of their puppies, or uh, a good percentage of their puppies. Uh, it's because... At a younger age, you can never pick uh, the best one out the bunch. You know what I'm saying? The one that should complete all its tasks. And if it can't, it was it will uh, give it life trying to uh, complete that task. You know what I'm saying? It will it will you know go deep here and beyond to complete its tasks. Uh, that's equal up pretty much like a gameness. Uh, with gameness, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't just pick an eight week old pup and be like, this the gamest one, or this, this gonna be the best one out the little at that at that young of an age. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but people try to do it all the time. Take him. You know what I'm saying? He had a, a cold dog at two years old. Supposed to have been, you know, his pick. You know what I'm saying? And the pup probably sold at six to eight weeks. You see what I'm saying? And it can't. It, it, it turned out to be a two year old cold dog, right? Uh, and it and it let a puppy, a ten month old puppy, mound him. So with that. You know what I'm saying? With the ten month old puppy mounting him, uh, he showed complete submissive submissiveness and and just complete coldness, you know what I'm saying? It it don't get no colder than that. Uh like he didn't snap back, you know what I'm saying, didn't do nothing. They hung. So, uh but you can't fault the uh breeder in my eyes because the dog do not know no better and neither dog knew any better and I got a 10 month pup that that try to mount anything you know what I'm saying his, his testosterone is, is growing and 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 he be ready to mount you know what I'm saying anything uh so, to me, it's definitely not the breeder fault that that happened. Uh, you'll have to place the uh, blame on the owner because I'm pretty sure uh, if he was a type of caliber dog, a puppy that was uh, very animal aggressive, uh, the owner would have had to separate them. Uh, so... The fact that they were living in the house together, he wasn't, but his hormones have turned on, and I'm pretty sure they didn't stick the first time they ever, you know, every, the pup was humping around. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have stick. I'm pretty sure the owner probably seen him uh, trying to mount the cold dog at least once. And doing that, you should have... The owner should have separated the two dogs. You understand? Uh, Cause this dog's two and a half. He clearly has one percent chance of turning on. Uh, 
So you would want to at uh, least separate them. Uh, but back to the topic, uh, it, it's impossible to pick uh, like an eight eight week pup saying he gonna be the best out the little or uh, uh, he gonna be game or uh, he is game. You cannot know at that age you can have certain insights they can show you certain traits that you like it you have to pinpoint like what it is you know what i'm saying you can't pick off head size you can't pick off color you can't pick off you know what i'm saying you can have a preference because i prefer uh my dogs to have black nose you see what i'm saying so Nine times out of ten, when my KPs and my homies and stuff, uh, if if I place one, it would be the uh, ones with the the brighter colored nose, like the red nose, the uh, chocolate nose, the yellow looking nose. Uh, I usually place them until a later time. Uh, but. Uh, these, the these animals can can surprise you. You know, the the one that's shy, out the little could be the monster. At the end of the day, so you never know. <laughs> that's why you have to give so many a chance, because one is not enough. And the fact that you got one is tempting when they come up to age to breed them. That's why you got more, you got a selection that you can pick through. It's always better to have a selection and do the curling process than uh, just hoping for one. Then you start breeding average. Then your stock value could be up or down, but your stock as a whole wouldn't be nothing. Venicator up for grabs, 14 months, email me.